On a chilly Friday night in Pyeongchang, as the Winter Olympics opening ceremony dazzled the world, a hidden cyber attack disrupted the festivity. The internet went down, TV broadcasts stopped, and drones were grounded. Spectators couldn't print their reservations, leaving many seats empty. Ji He Lee, a spokesman for the Pyeongchang Organizing Committee, confirmed on Sunday that the chaos was caused by a cyber attack. While he didn't give many details, he assured that the problem was quickly fixed and systems were stable by Sunday. Security experts found out that the attack had been been planned for months. The hackers aim to mess up the games and maybe send a political message. Researchers at Cisco's Talos division explained that the malware used was designed to destroy computer systems but stopped short of complete destruction. They only deleted backup files, leaving a chance to recover the system. Craig Williams from Talos wondered why the hackers held back from doing more damage. He thought they might be sending a message that they could have done worse. CrowdStrike, another security company, agreed with Talos. They discovered that the attack had been in preparation since at least December. The hackers had hard-coded the word Pyeongchang2018.com into their malware and used stolen credentials to spread the attack through the Olympic networks just as the opening ceremony began. While no one could say for sure who was behind the attack, clues pointed to Fancy Bear, a Russian hacking group linked to Russian intelligence. Fancy Bear had previously been involved in the hack on the Democratic National Committee in 2016. In the days before the ceremony, the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs accused Western countries of starting an information war against Russia, anticipating accusations of cyber attacks. This wasn't the first time the Olympics had been targeted. In 2012, hackers planned to cut power to the London Olympic Stadium, but security experts stopped them in time. The cyber attack in Pyeongchang was a reminder that even the most joyous events can be disrupted by digital threats. Despite the challenges, the spirit of the Games shone through, proving the resilience of the Olympic community.